Okay. Definitely related to Otterbein the other day. Otterbein was side of Otterbein. Um, my mother passed away in March of 1960. And uh, I remember when Dean Van came and got me to tell me that my mother only had about six years. And she was such a dear. She went out to all of my professors, all of my assignments. And I left her last February just before her exams. And she was the chief for our conference, that was the true one of the professors. And I came out home as a Rutgers library. So that I all could sound. And then when I came back and I took all my exams in the I get credit for the full year. To be able to go to Europe in September with the honor by And it worked out beautifully. And I'm forever indebted to her. She's is the dearest man. I mean, this is the dearest person you could ever have. This is wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The other one is a funny story, but very, it, it, it's an incredible story, really. Uh, in the mid 70s, my husband came home with two tickets to go to the Rutgers Basketball League. So we went, we were up to 50 yards. And while we were watching this game, which was very good game, by the way. Uh, I see this fella on the other side with the 10 gallon hose walking up and down. And they're saying, Muller this, Muller that. And I never connected it to Steve. And Steve and I have worked on a couple of years. And I had really no touch it. The next day turned out to be one of New York's finest days. And she really was one of my house couple of Let's take the ferry from Staten Island over to. Uh, South Fork and Wolf Twin Towers. So we did that. And we got up to the top of the towers, and my two kids were so excited. They ran over to the window to look out. And we started slowly, you know, closing around. And I saw the fellow yeah. in the gallon hat. He turns and he's right smack in the middle of the And I'm going to say, Steve. <laughs> My husband's chin, I think, hit the floor. He was so surprised. Mm -hmm. So we had a little reunion here. Why were we having a big feeling on the top of the twin towers? Another classmate. Oh my gosh. So we had this little one. And it, the chances of that happening was a solid Texas A&M, I think it was, is where Steve was coaching. Mm -hmm. They won the game. They got a free day in New York. For mm -hmm. Otherwise, our yeah, parents would have never have crossed like that. Oh, my gosh. But we thought that was just an astounding coincidence that we just had to be in the same spot. Yeah, in all of New York City. In all of New York City. Of New York City. Of New York City. A city of eight million people. And there were one, two. One from a city way far away, Texas, and me, and we both were like on the highway. Oh, wow. So I think, yeah, you know, it's really a, a wonderful story, but it's true. Everything we can ask Steve is why he comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when he sent out the uh, notices for the reunion a year ago, and his little note to me says, Do you remember us on top of the twin? Yeah, that's where we go. Yeah, okay. So that oh, was really wow. unique. Indeed. Yeah. Of course, now the towers are gone. We'll always have it. Yes.